one company, three countries. Target Agriculture is an exporter of processed organic fruits, nuts, and other products from Sri Lanka, Thailand, and Vietnam. We produce over 200 high-quality organic products made from more than 60 different fruits. 100% organic certified, partially kosher, and largely fair trade certified. It all started in Sri Lanka. The luscious green tropical island with the loveliest beaches surrounded by the crystal clear blue water of the Indian Ocean. After visiting Sri Lanka in the early 90s, Dr. Thomas Gerbra chose to settle here. What made me stay here in Sri Lanka is the typical tropical climate and weather conditions. The greenery wherever you look, the nice beaches, beautiful sun and of course it was the challenge. The challenge to do something in another country, to start without any knowledge in a new subject and to be successful. Yeah, I had the idea to start with organic agriculture and buy my own land here. About 20 years ago, this is my first land where I started, where target agriculture started. Uh, everything was jungle. It was constant training and hard work maintaining the fertility of the soil and getting decent organic products. Nowadays, it's still jungle, but it has totally changed. Now we have different crops like pepper, we have the coconut trees, and we have our tea in between, and everything is organic cultivated and organic maintained. Thomas became a Demeter fan and real eco-enthusiast. Kept cows and horses, buried horns, made compost heaps, cultivated different fruits and crops, and convinced many others to do agriculture without using artificial fertilizer and pesticides. But there were setbacks, failed harvests, and losses. And even though they sold their surplus locally, at the end of the day, they still didn't have enough money left. So Thomas was looking for a new source of income. It seemed to be obvious. Tropical organic fruits from Sri Lanka. That's a good idea. Making fruit juice, making fruit pulp out of it and export it. That's the idea. What started about two decades ago as a small farming project has in the meantime grown into an international business which is spread over three countries, Sri Lanka, Thailand and Vietnam. And I would like to invite you to follow me on a trip to all the three countries and I can show you how organic agriculture and organic processing works. Adjacent to the Tanamera estate, you'll find the head office of Target Agriculture Sri Lanka. Thomas comes here at least one week per month. Meanwhile, Target quickly grew from the first Tanamera estate to four organic farms covering more than 150 acres and employing dozens of workers. And meanwhile, all over the island, about 4,000 farmers organized in groups and fair trade certified cooperatives are growing fruits and other crops for Target organically. Fair trade certification ensures that our farmers work under fair trading conditions by guaranteeing a minimum price, which is mostly above the market price. It allows the farmers to cover all expenses, to make their living, and to further invest in their farms. The organic farmers appreciate the health implications and value the environmental protection. This is a forest garden of mixed cropping systems. We have biodiversity of trees. We have clean environment, which means no chemicals used, no garbage strewn around. We also have fair trade. For Target, this is a mixed cropping system, is what they have asked for. It's an honor to be here and to see you. Target Agriculture maintains a long-term partnership with their fair trade certified farmers. Organic farming is very important for the survival of our future generation. In 
In the Target-owned organic certified processing unit in Wellagama, most of the fruits are processed, be it the only organic Anana fruits from the island, be it mango, pineapple, papaya, or bananas. One of the first products, and still a big seller, are dried pineapple pieces. Nearly ripe sweet fruits are carefully peeled and cut. Meanwhile, Target has perfected the drying technique. The pieces are placed in heated drying covers. After being kept there for a few hours at around 70 degrees centigrade, they lose their moisture, but largely retain their color. They had previously tried solar drying, but it was not successful. 160,000 organic pineapples are required for 8,000 kilograms dried fruit to fill a container. 10 containers of dried pineapple, packed in five kilo bags, are sent by ship to Germany alone every year. Thomas has employed many young local specialists who, after studying at university, are familiar with the latest agricultural and food technology. As well as pineapple, there's other fruit, like individually quick frozen, so-called IQF, dices of mangoes, dried papayas or bananas, juices, pulps, and other fruit preparations. We can handle it all in our multiple certified processing units. The company spends a lot of money for obtaining worldwide certifications, for inspections, and especially for quality assurance. Freezing fruit pieces individually is another method of preservation. The IQF process assures the better part of the vitamins, antioxidants, and fibers of the natural product are preserved. Blast freezers are used to freeze the items very quickly. It works with liquid nitrogen at a temperature of minus 196 degrees centigrade. These mango dices will be added to organic yogurts, for example. Especially for export and logistics, Target has another Sri Lankan office near Colombo. Here, the export of fruit specifications, as well as the one of desiccated coconut products, are organized. In all three countries, Target cooperates with other certified factories. They strictly have to separate organic from conventional raw material. and they handle it very carefully, fulfilling certain health and safety measures, as well as hygienic standards. Almost since the beginning, Target is offering high-quality coconut products, be it milk, oil, pulp, powder, or be it classical desiccated fine or chips. Taking samples from every production line for laboratory tests is obligatory. Experts from Target are supervising the whole production and take care of the paperwork. It is long, long ago that Thomas could handle it all alone personally. He now can rely on his very experienced staff, but he visits every factory regularly to receive his own authentic impression. Therefore, he's traveling a lot. Again on tour and uh, now it's one o'clock in the night and uh, I'm waiting for my flight to Bangkok. Next destination, Thailand. In 2005, Dr. Thomas Gerbrock first visited Thailand and was excited.
wonderful beaches, tropical climate, the rich cultural tradition, and so friendly people. Not only a paradise for tourists, Thomas also discovered the large variety of fruits. He could imagine the potential of the still fledgling organic farms. Because as the years went by, he was not able to meet the demand of his international customers for tropical fruit preparations with products from Sri Lanka alone. He had to expand. In 2007, 13 years after having found the successful company in Sri Lanka, he opened a second target branch in the kitchen of the world. At the office near Pattaya, they organized the farms, the processing, and the export. Distributed over the whole of Thailand, Target now has a good 8,000 small organic certified farmers cultivating organic fruit for the company. Also, our farms, which we already certified, you can see here, all over the countries um, in different areas like east and west and in the north. So we have about 25 farms units all over the country and also about six units to process the, like pearl juice, juice concentrate dry and fish dry and vacuum fry or fresh fruit to be exported as well. They're partnering with local certified factories and are still looking for new ones. And Thomas constantly is looking for new products Target can offer. At the same time, he tries to satisfy his customers' needs perfectly. If they ask for a special product or a specification, Target will find the best option. Early next morning at Pattaya. Today, Thomas will visit a factory north of Bangkok. On their way, they have a typical breakfast. They're lucky. The main roads are not blocked by the protesters that day, so they reach the factory on time. Dr. Thomas Gerbrocht is much more than just founder and CEO of Target. After 20 years, he is still involved and interested in all steps of product development. One example, Target exports a lot of organic ginger to Europe. It is an important ingredient for a special organic trend drink. But in the beginning, there was a problem. Ginger, especially organic ginger, was earlier transported in containers somewhere from an origin. And when it came to Europe, especially to Germany, uh, it was having fungus. So therefore, we have developed a special process to uh, avoid any fungus in the ginger and to process, process it in the origin as ginger crush. Fresh ginger, which Target gets from organic farms in northern Thailand, is cut and crushed directly. Then the fresh ginger pulp is carefully pasteurized. They check the temperature constantly. So, now the ginger is frozen, deep frozen, and ready to go to our customers, packed in cartons. Target can offer a wide variety of processed fruits from Thailand. Organic pineapple and different specifications are still on top of the hit list. The organic production lines have to be separated from the conventional ones carefully. Controllers from Target do random inspection, and often Thomas himself is attendant. To control the quality of the pineapple dices is essential.
Ice cubes help to pre-cool the product before it gets into the advanced freezing machine. The IQF, or Individually Quick Frozen Freezing Method, is state-of-the-art and has different advantages. Fruits, or parts of tropical fruits, are not block frozen, but remain in its individual form. And the structure is retained, so that the flavor and taste of the fresh fruit remains optimal. Back in the meeting room, Thomas can test the new product. A big international coffee shop company has asked Target to develop a fresh, unpasteurized pineapple juice. Thomas is convinced. Together with the managers of the factory, he and his staff members are discussing the most practical manufacturing technique. to a finer mesh, sucked by a pump out and transferred to The organic fresh juice will be deep frozen and then can be melted and bottled at the customer. Ho Chi Minh is the next destination. In the search to increase the diversity of products for its clients, Thomas discovered Vietnam in 2011. Today, he jets back and forth between Sri Lanka, Thailand and Vietnam his mobile rings around the clock. Nowadays, with the modern communication like email and internet, it's very easy to work over the boundaries of country. So, and therefore, it's possible for me to manage three countries. But uh, the best is when I travel into the country. And, uh, I do it every month. And I must say, I really like my job and I like to travel. In Ho Chi Minh City, he did not only found the third Target branch, but also founded a new family with his wife Nan and their son Felix. Yeah, it keeps young to have a baby huh? when you're getting older, you know. So then you know at least that you have somebody who is uh, taking over the business one day. Yeah, welcome to Ho Chi Minh City! Ho Chi Minh City, the former Saigon, is Vietnam's largest and fastest developing modern international city, with a young population embracing Western cultural values. Besides his challenging job, Thomas is trying to get work and life balanced. One more minute, warm up, and then I can start with some weight training. Several times a week, he's doing his workout and heavy weight training. You know, if you have to be fit in your business life, yeah, you also have to be fit physically. Yeah? The body and the brain must work together in a way. And uh, to be fit is everything. Fight against aging. So logically, healthy food is a must. And Vietnamese cuisine is the right one famous and really delicious, although organic is still hard to find. Honestly, I love Vietnamese food. Excellent. <laughs> Traveling away from the city, you find local farmers engaged in various agricultural activities. For instance, cashew cultivation. In January, the trees are flowering, already showing small kidney-like droops with the cashew kernels inside. A few months later, the cashew apples appear with the attachments ready to harvest. 
Target gets raw dried cashew nuts from dozens of organic and fair trade certified farms in Binh Phuoc province. Sử dụng thuốc hóa học á, nó gọi vậy nè, nó tác hại cho con người mình nhiều hơn. Sử dụng thuốc hóa học khi người ta biết lợi cân nhỏ tỷ như bây giờ á, nó bằng 30 000 một kg. Của chú phải tăng lên khoảng 35 000 trở lên là bởi vì cái hạt điều của mình. And in addition to the better sales price, the fair trade certified farmers cooperatives get a premium to improve the social standard and living condition of their communities. The processing of the raw cashew nuts is rather complex. Initially, they're sorted according to size. The hard nutshells contain toxic substances. To deactivate them, the raw nuts have to be treated with steam at high temperature. The so-called anarchatic acids convert into the cashew nutshell oil. The oil is extracted here. This byproduct is sold and used as raw material developing drugs, antioxidants, or fungicides. Back to the nuts. These machines are cracking the nuts automatically. Only a small amount of cashew nowadays is still cracked manually. Afterwards, the nuts, still hidden behind the so-called test appeal, are dried. And here, finally, the cashew kernels come out like we know them. There's a rising demand for organic cashew because they contain very healthy ingredients. Especially vegetarians love this dried fruit. The raw cashew nuts and other products like coconut from Vietnam are processed in different exclusive processing plants certified by international organic certification bodies. The workers always wear gloves when grading the final product. Only trained and very skilled women can distinguish the numerous grades of cashew. Only the best quality is good enough for Target's customers. Processing according to organic certification doesn't allow any chemicals to preserve or to remove any possible insects. Therefore, Target chose the method of packing the kernels in plastic bags, flushing the bags with non-toxic carbon dioxide, and then generating a vacuum to preserve the valuable nut kernels. When we make our final quality control, we don't rely only on one party. We have our own quality controllers from Target. We have a quality controller from the government. And we have a third party quality controller. Uh, after that, all four parties come to a conclusion. If the shipment can go and fulfills the requirements. Target's mission is to provide its customers around the world with the best high-quality organic fruit and nut products. Therefore, before shipping, product samples are analyzed in renowned labs like TUV Rhineland. Very important is the microbiology test. Kernels are minced and the mixture is prepared for testing. A small amount is put on agar plates. In case of a contamination, microorganisms like bacteria or fungi would proliferate on that culture medium. Also important, especially for organic food products, is to test for pesticides and other chemicals.
That's possible with state-of-the-art equipment. For example, gas chromatography. Highly sensitive instruments are used to identify the potentially hazardous substances in the complex sample. And what are the results for our cashew kernels? I can say that it's a very good sample, good product. And you can see here, it means that it's very clean. And uh, for the pesticide, as you can see, sulfate metrins, nothing. The product? The professional analysis of the target sample shows very good results. So that means the shipment can be released? Sure. Uh, I like say, sure. any problems. That's nice to hear. We can go ahead. Thank you very much. Yeah. And I can say that the product is very good, even not only for the customers, but also for other products from the targets. And also they control very well about the um, environment. Uh, it's one of the best companies that I worked before. I, I, I test the product for them before. Some company in Vietnam or some company in our, our the country, they just focus on the price and they don't care about the quality so much. But target is different, totally different. If you would like to have the good quality, you may spend a little bit more money, but it's more safety and target choose this way. Yeah, we have the result. Very, very heavy. 50 pounds of organic cashew nuts from Vietnam. Target Agriculture, three countries, one successful company. And with one mission, the best possible organic quality products for all its clients worldwide. For Dr. Thomas Gerbrocht, who started about two decades ago with a small farming project in Sri Lanka, a dream has come true, worth working on continuously with conviction and passion. I wish to appeal to everybody to think about our future generations. Corporate responsibility and fair trading are the keys of future sustainability. <laughs>